Okay, welcome to uh, part B of 1.2 notes. Now, we've been practicing dimensional analysis for a few days, and what I want to do uh, next is use the skills we've developed using dimensional analysis to take care of some problems that are a little more challenging. Um, and we call these, we, these problems, we call them rate problems. Okay? And you're familiar with a rate if you drive a car or if you've been in a car. Uh, a rate that you see almost daily is how fast you're going when you're driving around town. That rate is in miles per hour, which tells you how many uh, miles you go in an hour. And so rate problems are a little different than what we've had before because every rate problem has two units. And so it looks a little intimidating when you see something like this, uh, 42 feet per second, 2 inches per minute. But the thing to remember is we're going to take care of one of the units at a time, and it'll make it a little bit easier. The cross-canceling is still the, the bottom line when doing this. All right. So... Before we do any work, though, I want to just kind of remind you of what this 42.1 feet per second means. It means 42.1 feet per one second, all right? Now, we write it up there like this with a, with a slash and everything, but remember, it's really 42.1 feet over one second. This one down here is 5.21 ounces per one minute. All right, so maybe that'll help you. So let's go ahead and get started. And the easiest way to tackle these problems is to just consider one unit at a time. So I'm going to take, uh, let me erase this so I can write this. I want to take this foot measurement right here and convert it into inches. Okay, not a problem, right? We've been doing that quite a bit. So let's go ahead and take care of that. So what has to go on the bottom? And hopefully you all say feet. So one foot equals 12 inches. Okay. Now I'm going to cancel my units, right? And I'm left with uh, inches here and seconds here. Well, I don't want the answer in inches per second. I want the answer in inches per minute. Okay. So I'm just going to keep going. All right. And then here is the glitch. Where do we find this value right here? Well, hopefully you're saying to yourself, well, it's on the bottom. And remember, all of this is about cross-canceling. So if one thing is on the bottom, where does the other thing have to go? The thing that we want to cancel, it has to go on top. So I will put 60 seconds in one minute. Okay. And again, notice, I still have a cross canceling, right? This is weird. I know we haven't done anything like this. You know, we haven't flipped it like that. But if you look at what units you're left with, I have minutes on the bottom and I have inches on the top. And look, that's exactly what we want there, inches per minute. So when I work that in my calculator, it's 42.1 times 12. Okay, we have a little typo here. And the answer for this problem is 3. Oops. 3.03 .03 times 10 to the fourth inches per minute. Uh, after this little clip, what you will see up there is this number, 8.42 inches per minute, because I made a mistake, and I have some students that showed me uh, my mistake. So this is the right answer. Ignore this that you'll see for the rest of this podcast. And hopefully you won't see any more of these times 60, I get an answer to problems. Um, I'm going to walk you through this next one, but if you feel like you can do it, then pause the video and give this one a try and see if you can get it. So here we go. Again, I'm going to go ahead and take care of the ounces first. All right. So if you look on the conversion sheet you have, you'll see that there are 32 ounces in one quart. Okay. And as you know, whatever unit is up here has to go down there, right? It's got that cross-canceling. Okay? So now I have quarts, but look what I want. I want to get to liters. Okay? So then again, I look on my conversion sheet, and I find that 1.06 quarts equals 1 liter. All right? So now I'm just going to cancel everything. Ounces on top, ounces on bottom, those cancel. Quarts on top. 
quartz on bottom, those cancel. And if I were to just do the math right now, 520 divided by 32 divided by 1.6, my unit would be liters right here. It would be liters per minute. But we don't want liters per minute. We want to know liters per day. Let's say this uh, this rate right here is uh, how many ounces per minute the Titlow pool loses on a summer day because there's some def there's definitely some evaporation going on. All right? So let's just continue on. So now I'm going to take care of the bottom unit because my liters are good, right? And here is the glitch when doing rate problems. Minutes is on the bottom. Where does it have to go over here to cancel? Exactly, it has to go on top. So, 60 minutes on top equals one hour, all right? And then, 24 hours equals one day, okay? And again, let's cancel our units. Minutes on the bottom, minutes on top. Hours on the bottom, hours on top. Look at the unit I'm left with. Liters per day. And that's exactly what you were asked to find. So with my calculator, it's 5.20 divided by 32 divided by 106 times 60 times 24. Woo! All right, working the calculator out, um, which unfortunately I failed to do. So let me work that out on my calculator real quick. All right, my calculator says two, oops, my calculator says 221.179, and what's my unit liters per day, right? Now, let's not forget our significant figures, though, right? If you look over here, I have three significant figures. So my answer has to go to 221 liters per day. There you go. Okay. Rate problems. Dimensional analysis with just a little bit of a twist. You can do it. So, I want you to try that right now. Okay. Here's a Pinto station wagon I had in college. Fast, fast car. Could go the speed of light, which is 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Well, how fast is that in miles per hour? So, take a moment and do that problem and see what you get. All right, let's see how you did. I'm going to write the quantity we start with. All right, And again, like always, I'm going to take care of one unit at a time. I'm just going to go ahead and take care of meters right now. I don't care about any of the other stuff. I'm going to worry about my meters. Okay, So, 1,000 meters is in one kilometer. All right. And then there's 1.61 kilometers in one mile. And again, I'm just getting this from the conversion sheet we've been using. Okay. So now if I look, am I done with my conversion? Let's see. We want it up here miles. And look, meters is gone. Kilometers is gone. And I'm left with miles. So I'm good there. Now i got to take care of uh, seconds to hours, right? So seconds is on the bottom, right? So it's got to be on top to get that cross-canceling. 60 seconds is one minute, and 60 minutes is one hour. All right. Did we get everything canceled out? Let's see. Seconds is on bottom. Seconds is on top. There's some cross-canceling. Minutes is on bottom. Minutes is on top. Okay. Do I have hours? I have hours, right? So look at the units I have left. I have miles on top, hours on bottom, just like what we wanted. Okay. When I put that in my calculator, I take that, scientific notation, divide it by 1,000, divide it by 1.61. Let's see. I've got to... And that gives me an answer of 6.70801 times 10 to the 8th miles per hour. Okay, But let's look at our significant figures, right? We've got three right there, so I've got to report this to three. So since I'm cutting off right there, and I'm cutting off an eight, I've got to raise this up. So 6.71 times 10 to the eighth miles per hour. Oops. All right, so there you go. If you have any questions on this, like always, please bring them to class. And uh, don't worry about this. We're going to practice this for a few days, and you should get really good at it. See you later.